Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. In with today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up the explosive element for our enemy spider artificial intelligence. So in the last video we imported this spider robot and we gave it the ability to walk and idle. Now what you'll notice is in the center of this there is a big gap and what we're going to be doing is putting a second mesh within this and once this spider touches the player it's going to play a little animation and then blow up dealing damage to the player. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today's video, importing the skeletal mesh importing the animations and then creating an animation blueprint and attaching that explosives rack to the back of this spider and we're also going to be doing a little bit of blueprint work to bring this all together. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now the first thing that I need to mention is you need to have the latest version of the project files. Within here underneath meshes and spider explosive, you should have a bunch of U asset files. Now these U asset files are going to be for the skeletal mesh itself, two animations, one to show the player that it's about to trigger the explosion and another one for idling and then we've also got the physics asset and the skeleton. Now due to some export issues that we had here I wasn't able to include it all in an FBX so instead what we're going to have to do is manually import this into the project ourselves. So to do that you want to select all of these files that you've got here and press Control C. And then what you want to do is navigate to wherever you have saved your project on your computer. Typically that's going to be under documents and then Unreal projects. Open up this folder, go to Mech Combat, Content, and then Mech Combat Meshes and AI Spider Bomb. And just paste this in here by pressing either Control V or and just paste. And what you'll do once you've got that is you are going to notice it is then going to import the skeletal mesh two animations, a skeleton and a physics asset. And these are exactly what we'll be using for this spider. So open up your skeletal mesh and what you'll notice is it says this mesh currently has no valid skeleton. Would you like to create a new one? Just go ahead and press yes. And once you've done this, you wanna make sure you're still using the correct material for this. So go up to asset details on the top left, go to material slots, and search for Robo. Robo is our grey material with the red emissives and we have already unwrapped this in a way that it all uh, shares the same material. So that's all good. So then what we need to do is open up our two animation sequences. And what it's going to tell you is it's going to say you could not find the skeleton for this. Would you like to choose a new one? Go ahead and press yes. And this is where you need to make sure you're using the second skeleton, spider underscore bomb underscore skeleton one, and then go ahead and hit retarget. And then what you're going to have here for the off animation is it should be idle, it shouldn't be moving at all, and it should look just like this. Go ahead and do the same thing for on, choose a new skeleton, and make sure you choose the second one, which is spider underscore bomb underscore skeleton one, hit retarget and then open it up. And what you'll notice in this one, the explosives are going up and down. And when the player sees that, they are going to know they need to get out of dodge because it's about to blow up. So with that having, uh, with that having been said, let's go ahead and create the animation blueprint to make all of this possible. So what you want to do is right click and create a new animation blueprint. And then for the skeleton, once again, we are choosing spider underscore bomb underscore skeleton one. That is the one that we have just retargeted our animations to. Once you've done this, give it the name bomb underscore anim BP. Open this up and what we're going to do is create an animation state and that state is going to be either idle or on. So create a new state, so connect your final animation pose to uh, state machine. So type in state machine and add a new state machine. Within this, open it up and what you want to do is you want to have an idle state and then you also want to drag out and create a new state with the name active. And then going from active, 
you want to leave it there. You don't need to worry about going back to idle because once this is armed, it is not going to go back to idle. So for it to go from idle to active, we need to set up a transitional rule. However, at the moment, we do not currently have any functionality for that. We don't have any blueprint boolean that's going to tell it, you know, yes or no, which state should it be in. So by default, it's going to be in the idle state. And then if not, it's going to be in the active state. But we're going to do that now in the animation blueprint. So with our idle state, what you want to do is go ahead and drag in your bomb off. And then for our active state, you want to drag in your bomb on. And then we're going to go ahead and hit compile and we're going to start doing a little bit of blueprint work to tell the engine exactly which state it should be in. So this information is going to be contained within our spider bomb blueprint. To find that, go to third person BP blueprints and then spider underscore bomb. Open up your full blueprint editor if it's not open already. And then we're just going to simply create a variable of the type boolean and we are going to give this the boolean name armed. So this is telling the engine whether or not that is armed. And if it is armed, then we're going to tell it to play the animation, which is going to raise those explosive racks up and down. So go ahead and hit compile, click your Boolean and make sure the default value is untrue. So by default, it is going to be in the idle state. And then once we've done this, what we can do is go back to our animation blueprint for bomb underscore and BP under, under meshes and spider bomb and then from there if we go back to our main state machine we can set up the transitional rule that we've got here for idle to active open it up and then what we need to do is hook up the variable but at the moment we haven't got anything so what we need to do is go to our event graph from event uh, blueprint update animation we want to cast to spider underscore bomb and then as the object wildcard, get the player character. And then as the spider bomb, we want to get the armed variable. Once we've got that, we are simply going to promote it to a variable that we can use from here. And then we're going to give us the name armed. And then just hook it up just like that straight into the cast node. Going back into the animation graph and into the transitional rule, we can now simply just drop this boolean into the result for this. So if we go ahead and hit compile, we should now have no errors. If I go to my preview editor and then go ahead and tick armed, you're going to notice it's going to start jumping up and down. If I untick it, it's not going to stop as we haven't set up any backwards functionality for that. If you want to do that just to make sure it is where it should be, drag from active to idle open up the transitional rule and with this one get armed and then between it you want to set not uh, not boolean so now if we go ahead and compile press armed once it's going to activate press armed again it's going to stop and we're all good to go so what we now need to do is take some time to actually add this into the blueprint so it's going to be riding on the back of our spider the way that we're going to do this is open up that spider bomb blueprint. We are going to add a skeletal mesh, open up our viewport, and for the skeletal mesh in the details panel on the right hand side, we are going to set this to spider underscore bomb. And then with this, all we're going to do is rotate it into place, just like that. And then we're also going to lower it down into the body position that looks right. And that is good with me. Now you'll notice the body is moving up and down, but the bombs aren't. What we need to do to counter that is just select your skeletal mesh and attach it to our bomb. So our mesh is going to be the main body and then the skeletal mesh is going to be our bombs. Now what we also need to do is set our anim class for the bomb to bomb underscore anim bp and our parent socket needs to be one of the one of the bones from this body here. Now you can choose any one of these. I'm just going to choose the root bone 
And then what I can do with this, oh, maybe not the root bone. Let's go with the core bone instead. And you're going to notice it's moving up and down now with the body. But what I do need to do is just simply rotate it back into place, drop it down and move it along just like that. Make sure it's fitting in there exactly the way that it should. Go ahead and hit compile. And what you should have now is your explosives riding on the back, going up and down with this. If I go ahead and press play and jump into my game, you should see that is still the case and we're good to go. And as you can see here, I can destroy it and we're all good. So what we still need to do is set up the behavior for this AI, telling it to chase the player. And then once they touch the player, give it a couple of seconds and then blow up play a particle effect and play a sound, but that is for the next video. Anyway guys, once again, I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.